Module 6, Lesson 1, Homework. Number 1. Answer the following questions using number line Q below. What is the coordinate or the distance from the origin of the smiley face? So the origin, it's important to remember the origin is 0 right here. So the distance from the origin, where here's the smiley face, would be 1, 2, 3. The coordinate for that is 3. What is the coordinate of the lightning bolt? So the lightning bolt's right here. It's 6, 7, 8. So the coordinate is 8. And what's the coordinate of the heart? Heart's all the way down here. 12, 13, 14, 15. So this is 14. What's the coordinate at the midpoint of the lightning bolt and the heart? So one way that we could find midpoint is just by, I'll cross one off there and then cross one off there. Cross one off on that side, cross one off on that side. So we're left with this, which is nine, this is 10, so this is 11. Number two, use the number lines to answer the questions. Plot T so that its distance from the origin is 10. So again, the origin is zero. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we're looking to plot t, so the distance from the origin is 10, meaning that from 0, the distance is 10. So 0 plus 10, t is going to go right there. Plot m, so that the distance is 11 fourths, from the origin. What is the distance of P to M? So 11 fourths, that if we make it an improper, it is an improper fraction, if we make it a mixed number, would be 2 and 3 fourths. So this is, if this is 3, then this would be 1 and 2, and then we have 1 and, or not 1, this is just 1 fourth, 2 fourths, 3 fourths, and we have 1. P is at 1 and 1 fourth, 1 and 2 fourths, 1 and 3 fourths. And we have 2 and 1 fourth, 2 and 2 fourths, 2 and 3 fourths. So we're looking for M, 2 and 3 fourths, which would be right here. So there's M. What, what is the distance from P to M? So P is at 1 and 1 fourth and m is at 2 and 3 fourths. So the distance, or the difference between them, 2 and 3 fourths minus 1 and 1 fourth would be 1 and 2 fourths, or 1 and a half is the distance. Plot a point that is 15 hundredths closer to the origin than z. So we have 1 here, and this is 75 hundredths. And we have how many tick marks? 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 in between, or 5 spaces here. So 5 spaces in between, meaning and 1 minus 75 hundredths is going to get us 25 hundredths. So we have 25 hundredths to work with as our distance. And we need to divide that into five equal pieces. If we do that, we'll get five hundredths. So the space between each tick mark is five hundredths. So I'll just start with 75 hundredths and add five hundredths. We get 80 hundredths. Add another five hundredths, 85, 90, 95 hundredths. So that, those are the tick mark measurements. We're looking to plot a point that's 15 hundredths closer to the origin than z. So z, you can see, is at 95 hundredths. We want it to be closer to the origin, so closer to zero. So I'm going to subtract 15 hundredths, so then I'm getting closer to zero. And I get 80 hundredths. So, that, so our point would go right there. And it doesn't have a letter, so there's our point. Plot u so that the distance from the origin is 3 6 less than that of w. Okay, so this one looks like it's broken up 
goes from 9 to 10. This is 9 and 2 sixths. So this is probably 9 and 1 sixth, 9 and 3 sixths, 9 and 4 sixths, 9 and 5 sixths. So we're looking for something that's 3 sixths less than W. So 9 and 4 sixths minus 3 sixths, because we're looking for 3 sixths less would be 9 and 1 sixth. So our point's going to go right there. There's U. Number three, number line K shows 12 units. Use number line K to, below to answer the questions. Plot a point at one, label it A. So let's see. What's tricky about this one is it goes from zero to two, but there are four tick marks or four spaces in between. So what I can see is that one would be right here in the middle. So this must be one half. And this must be one and a half. Or sorry, yeah, one and a half. So then this would be two and a half, three, three and a half, four, four and a half, five, five and a half, six, six and a half, seven, seven and a half, eight, eight and a half, nine, nine and a half, ten, ten and a half. 11 and 11 and a half. So plot a point at one, label it A. So there's one, let's label that A. Label a point that lies at three and a half as B. So since we already have everything labeled, let's just find three and a half. Here it is. Label it B. Label a point C whose distance from zero is eight units further than that of B. So B is three and a half, and we want eight units further from B, distance from zero. So I'm gonna add eight to that and get 11 and a half. So C is gonna be at 11 and a half. D, plot a point D whose distance from zero is six halves, six halves, six divided by two, that's just three, less than that of B. So B, again, was three and a half, and we want three less than that. So that's one half, so the coordinate of D is one half. What is the coordinate of the point that lies 17 halves further from the origin than D? 17 halves, that is eight and a half. So we're looking for something that's eight and a half further from zero, the origin means zero, than D, which is one half. So eight and a half further, so let's add eight and a half. That would be nine. So E is going to be at nine. F, what is the coordinate of the point that lies halfway between F and D? Label this point G. So let's find F and D. Here's F and D's all the way down here. So nine and a half and one half. We're looking for the midpoint between those two. So we could mark them off, which I think that's the easiest way to do it. Or we could subtract. So I've marked, I'm gonna evenly mark them off on both sides. So I did one on each side, and I'll do it again. I'm just gonna keep going until I reach the midpoint. And that is five. So this we're gonna label as G. And the coordinate is five. Mr. Baker's fifth grade class buried a time capsule in the field behind the school. They drew a map and marked the location of the capsule with an X so that his class can dig it up in 10 years. What could Mr. Baker's class have done to make the capsule easier to find? So what I see is it's just a map and they put an X in the spot where they buried it. But what I think they could have done to make it easier is they could have added coordinates so that there was an exact location or a measurement of where 
the capsule was. There are other answers. That's not the only answer. Maybe you have an idea that's better than mine, but considering this is all about coordinates, it's probably what your teacher is looking for. So we could say they could have labeled the map with coordinates that gave an exact location. 